Clinical is about a psychologist named Jane who has an episode with one of her clients, one of her patients. She is at a, in her study at night writing some notes about uh, this particular client called Nora when she hears a strange noise. She goes to investigate this noise and when she comes back Nora's standing there all cut up and gnarly looking uh, and attacks Jane, cutting her and psychologically scaring her as well as physically scaring her in the process. And then we jump a, a few months to find out that Jane is now seeing a psychologist as well. She's trying to get her practice back up and running and she is given this patient called Alex who is severely disfigured uh, due to a car crash. And as she uh, psychoanalyses and talks to Alex throughout their sessions, she starts to believe that Nora is kind of haunting her, is back for her, is, is just all the way around about her when she knows that she's locked up in a, an asylum. But Alex and his trauma brings out her trauma even more, creating and blurring the line between reality and what's really going on inside the psychologist's mind. Now, it's a Netflix original movie. It's okay, not great, but it, it does some interesting things at the start. It's got some nice imagery. It's got some nice choice of direction and angles. And I do like the character of Jane, even though she is borderline one dimensional. Alex comes into this place with uh, some very good prosthetics and disfigurement and looks really quite cool. And when he's starting to talk to Jane, you really see the relationship starting to bond and, and form there. And you get this interesting doctor-patient uh, relationship that's, that's really kind of worthwhile. It's helping Alex and it's kind of helping Jane through the trauma as well. And then you get the whole storyline with Nora, who you don't really know too much about. You get the bit at the start of the movie and she appears later on in flashbacks and in hallucinations and in current time as well as Jane starts to see her or feel her stalking her about her own house. I like the idea of this movie. I like the idea of a psychologist having a psychological break. It's an interesting topic and to sort of juxtapose it with Alex trauma and his uh, breakthrough from his therapy is a really nice touch. But, and there is a huge but in this movie review, and that is the last 25 minutes of this movie where it literally jumps the shark and takes away all the good work that the movie did to build up at the first two thirds of this thing. And it's a real shame. The final third where there's reveals and twists and all this wacky going on isn't really needed. Up until then it's a nice character piece about people dealing with trauma and then it throws it into just mystery, reveal, thriller kind of aspects and just kind of steals it, robs it of any kind of effect that the movie was possibly going to have. And it goes from being up here, not near the top, but you know, kind of midway to bringing it down a bit because it's just silly. It's unfortunate, but that is exactly what it is. It's a silly finale to a movie that isn't great, but was pretty good. You know, it was, it was ticking all the boxes, was making me interested, it was making me stay attuned to the movie. Um, and I wish I could say, spoil the last 25 minutes for you, but if you're going to watch this movie, you really need to see it coming from yourself. And you can kind of guess what part of the twist is going to be. And you're just kind of hoping that that's not going to be part of it. But it is. As Netflix original goes, it's kind of middle of the road. Loses it in the last third, but still better than, than I'd say, most of the Netflix movies, um, which isn't really saying much, to be fair. I thought Clinical was a good idea. I like some of the relationships in it. I like the fact that Jane is seeing a psychologist while still practicing her psychology and having breakthroughs with her patient, Alex. I like this kind of uh, triangle of conversations that you, you see happening here, there, and everywhere. I like some of the aspects in the asylum, the mental hospital, it was pretty good. I like the imagery with Nora, it's always kind of weird and off kilter and you feel kind of nervous energy about it. It's kind of exciting. The final third just takes it into hokey, typical thriller-esque stuff that we've probably seen thousands of times before, I'm going to guess. And that's what really brings the movie down for me, which is why I'm going to give Clinical 2 out of 5. I really want to give it more, but that ending just robs it of any effect and all the good work done before it. Still, I'd be interested in your opinion on Clinical, so if you just let me know in the comment box what you thought of it, I will see you next time on Man vs Film.